Welcome back fellow developers to another video on my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to create a digital ocean droplet and connect to it through SSH. This video will belong to a longer series where I deploy Laravel with Nginx. The first step is to set up a digital ocean droplet. Log in to your digital ocean account. As soon as you log in it is going to be on the droplet creation page by default. We will use the default Ubuntu distribution. Then you can use whatever CPU options that you want. I usually choose the cheapest ones, but it's often necessary to choose a configuration with a minimum RAM of 2 GB. But it all depends on your configuration and your database. Choosing a smaller configuration may lead to slower application performance. To add your SSH key pair to your droplet, go to your terminal. Type in the following command. It will print out your public key. Copy the output. Then paste your key into the SAH key content field and give this key a name. Then press add. This will create a key pair for your droplet. In my case, it did not create a new key because my key is already here under the name of Windows Laptop. Check on your created key pair. This will allow you to connect from your computer directly to your droplet. Give your droplet a name that won't confuse you. Also, select a data center region closest to your target audience to ensure fast loading times. For me, it's in Toronto. After selecting your configuration, data center region, and SSH key pair, click on the Create Droplet button and wait for the process to complete. Once the droplet is ready, copy the IP address of the droplet. Now we need to connect to the droplet from our machine. So in our terminal on our local machine, we type in SSH root at IP address and then hit enter. This will connect us to our digital ocean server. So we have successfully created a droplet and connected to our digital ocean server. Thanks for tuning in and happy website building.